with the new generation of systems coming out, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, uh, this is a great time to collect some classic games. So I went on eBay and I wanted to go ahead and continue to try and improve my Xbox 360 collection. So what I have here is a random box of games. Now they told me this would actually be somewhere between eight and 10 games. Um, it may include one or two sports games. It would not include doubles. So we're gonna see what they shipped us here. They say some of the games may be new, some may be used it's kind of random um so let's see what we have here we'll go ahead and open this up i did peel off the sticker to kind of keep my address secret um but we'll go ahead and check this out together i haven't looked except for this top one here which actually looks pretty good is that fable what is that oh my gosh that's fable okay great game um this is obviously GameStop used, so like that's a little bit of a downer because the case now has like a sticker on it, um, but not bad. A pretty good game to start. I would rate this game itself definitely like an A plus title. Um, the case would make me feel like it's kind of like a D or C minus case with all these stickers. Um, God, I hope the game's in here. This this will be bad. Let me open this up. Sometimes the games are not in the box. Okay, looks like we have instructions and the game itself in a real Xbox 360 case and the game itself. Let's check out the thing. A um, few fingerprints, but overall it looks pretty good. That's playable, I would say. So very cool. Off to a great start. Um, I would definitely rate this game worth probably like five bucks or so. Um, so I'll put that down there. Let's check out the next game. Um, oh, this is brand new in box. Um, Aliens Colonial Marines. I know this game got some bad reviews actually, um, but I will say that it is brand spanking new. So um, that is excellent. I'm gonna leave this in the shrink wrap for now since this is obviously a, a new game. So very, very cool. We got a little sticker residue there. Um, looks like this probably was in some kind of store or something, maybe a store that was closing. Um, my box keeps sliding down here. Oh my God, this could be a fight. Um, this, what on earth is this? This is a, a steel box. Um, oh, it's Halo 4, okay. Halo 4 in steel box. And it looks like we do have the discs and this the box itself doesn't look too bad. Uh, no book. I don't know if it's supposed to include a book. I would think maybe it is supposed to include the book. But Halo 4, um, not looking too bad. Not, not bad. Looks playable. Let me check out the other disc here. Um, disc 2, yeah, it looks like they're both pretty good. Of course, I'm touching it now, which I know I shouldn't. So hopefully I'll probably get some heat in the comments about that. But um, all in all, I would say this one, um, definitely digging the steel box, although it's a little, a little dirty maybe or something. Thing. I, I don't know what type of scum that is. I could probably get that off with some like Windex or something. Um, but nice steel box, uh, definitely a good collectible. So I would say that's still a winner, even though it's pretty used. And these games could be used too. You know, it's, I'm not saying they couldn't be, but um, I'd hope they'd at least be clean if they're used. Um, but not bad. I, I would give that like an A, tell you the truth. Um, that's a winner. Um, here is this. No, it's not new. Um, this is definitely a used game. Looks like it was $3 at a yard sale or something. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, Call of Duty 2. Uh, this feels light. Uh oh, I don't. I don't know about this one, guys. Um, feels very light. Weird little stickers on here. I don't know what that's about. Let's see. Oh no, it does include a game and includes a book. So actually, not bad. Let's check out the game. Um, kind of, kind of dirty, but not bad. I would say that's playable, so very cool. We'll pop that over here. There is missing some little tabs. The case is a little damaged, like see it's missing some spots. So little little thing, but it, it stays in there, which is good. So not bad. This is definitely like maybe a $3 game. I don't know if this one is really worth five or not, but um, you know, it is one of the game of the year edition ones too. So it means it's kind of in a collectible standpoint, ones that are like, you know, red, you know, PlayStation greatest hits or whatever, they are not quite as good as the actual original one. So I'd say this this is probably uh, one of the weaker entries so far from our box. Next up, oh my gosh. Oh, this is awesome. This is hard to find. In fact, is this an import? Uh, this is uh, Raiden 4 and this is, this is cool guys. This has the book and this has, um, it's like two discs and I wanna say it's like a soundtrack or something. Um, maybe this is a soundtrack here. Oh, this is like a GameStop exclusive with a secret code. You, if you see it, you can use it if you want. Um, this is used, so maybe the code's used too, I don't know. But this is a treasure, guys. Oh my gosh, I love this game. This game, I followed this game on, like on Xbox and on like Atari Jaguar and the arcade. Like, I love this game on all systems. And to have this special edition with the extra little disc from GameStop is very, very, very cool. So. 
Um, I'm definitely a fan of that. I'll be playing this one probably first. Um, very cool, very much to me. Very much worth $5, even though it is used. Good looking case, has the book, everything's complete. Um, let me just check out the, it's from GameStop, I don't know. Oh yeah, that looks brand new. That, that probably never has been played. Um, the game itself, oh, some, we got some fingerprints. Got some fingerprints on there, but it looks looks usable. Looks usable. I would say that whoever the seller was, they didn't clean their discs at all before they they shipped them. They just shipped them. Um, next up, Dead Island. A very visible, kind of a beat up case. Like, ooh, that's not good. Look at that case there. Has like some rips in it. Um, pre owned. Looks like a GameStop case, maybe. Yeah, GameStop. So really, kind of a, a bad case. This case should be thrown away. It has like little rip in the plastic all the way to the cardboard there stickers all over it um definitely dinged in see it's this case is destroyed this case is like a f um the game no book um the game itself dead island i hear is a great game i've really never played it before the disc looks really solid looks very clean so i'm digging that the inside of the case actually looks fine everything's protected but just the case itself from like a, I'll have to put this in a different case for me. Um, I'm a little neurotic about my games and I don't like cases that are like destroyed and you know, really messed up. You can see like pressure points, maybe there's a lot of weight on this or something, uh, but pretty cool game I would say. And uh, actually the case is really, really bugging me. Huh? <laughs> the case is enough, the game is like a B. So pretty cool stuff. Next up, um, this looks, is this new? Uh, no, it's not new. Final Fantasy, uh, GameStop, a lot of GameStop thing. I wonder if these are like a GameStop auction. Um, GameStop, um, this feels heavy, so I'd say everything is included in here. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, we got, we got like books galore. That's what, that's what feels so heavy. Um, code disc, uh, looks like we have disc one, disc two, is there three discs? Three discs. Um, let me check these out real quick. Um, little fingerprinty. Um, not bad though. all. I'd say these are definitely playable. Um, so not bad. And these are all Final Fantasy discs. I've kind of gotten lucky. Sometimes in these like weird auction things, I'll end up getting like the wrong game in the case. Uh, one time I got like a, it was like Tiger Woods Golf and some better game case. So uh, I might be jinxing myself here, but uh, so far very good. Um, the game itself, I hear this is excellent. I really, I kind of played like Final Fantasy VII and a couple of them, and then kind of like swayed away from Final Fantasy. Although I did try Final Fantasy online for a little while. Um, so cool game. I'm excited to play this. And I'll check this out, actually. I'd say this is definitely, you know, worth five bucks for sure. Um, next up, Dead Space. Um, looks like this is a used used Xbox 360 game. The box, pretty good condition, decent. And the game, we got the books and everything included here. Looks good. The game itself, this, the top part looks great. Looks brand new. Yeah, that looks like that. That's probably never been played or played like once or something. So very good used find. Uh, and I'd say for the money, man, not bad at all. Um, this is a, like a critics game, like on, on the cardboard. So this is not quite as collectible as like a first run of it, but still pretty darn cool. Definitely worth five bucks. And then finally, um, boy, did I get gypped here? How many games we got here? Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's in the it's in the window. It's supposed to be eight to eight to ten games, I guess, based upon value or something. Um, this is a brand new sealed copy of Halo Wars. Um, looks like it has some kind of game sticker on there, seven ninety nine. Um, Halo Wars in this is a platinum hits version. So any from a collectible standpoint, to me, any game that has like a greatest hits is not quite as valuable as like an original one, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I love the fact this is actually like sealed. It looks like this includes bonus content for additional maps. So this is like one that came out later that had the downloadable content like pre-installed. I'm not going to open this because it's sealed, but yeah, I mean, any sealed game is to me is probably worth five bucks. Um, oh wait, what the heck? This game was pre-owned. Any offers, bonus content may be playable. Uh, oh boy. Like, all right, fine. We're going to open this up. Like, and now it says it's used, but it looks brand new. So it's like it's shrink wrapped and has like a sticker pre-owned 79. I honestly thought this was new. Um, let's see what this looks like on the inside. Boy, I'm going to like freak if this is like some great cool game besides Halo Wars. And Halo Wars is cool. This I think I was really into like, I'm re really into Starcraft. In fact, that looks just like Protoss. Look at the sword. I mean, I know you could say it's the, it's the Master Sword or whatever, but um, like from a standpoint of RTSs, like of course Starcraft,